Hi folks, welcome to Duncan in the Forest. So I'm out and about today, I'm outside. Uh, it's late March, we're kind of getting on towards late March. Uh, and as you can see, spring is well and truly here. Daffodils are out uh, and around me at the moment, there's lots of stinging nettle coming out, there's pig nut coming out, uh, ground ivy, uh, there's some celandines in the woods as well. So spring is here. There's still a bit of a chill in the air and there's a bit of a breeze today. Uh, but today I thought I'd start um, doing a whole series of videos all about uh, some quick forest school or outdoor uh, education activities. So having a, a range of different activities that you can utilise whether you're delivering forest school or outdoor education experiences is really key to providing a rich experience for those that are taking part. And you build up that repertoire of different activities over time. Um, you'll learn activities from different people, YouTube's a great way to find out different activities, there's lots of books out there. Uh, and I thought I'd share a quick activity today uh, that, to tell you the truth, I can't remember where I learned this. So the first activity I'm going to share with you today for 5 Minute Forest School is a little activity involving this shrub here, which is cherry laurel, which is quite common. It's planted a lot for hedges and for ornamental cover. It's an evergreen. Uh, it doesn't really have a lot of uses. Uh, the wood is not good to burn uh, and it is slightly toxic. And it creates a very shaded area, so it's not great for biodiversity either. It does uh, have some lovely flowers. These are just starting to come up. Lovely white spikes of flowers in probably about a month's time. And it does provide uh, the, the cherry, so the, the, the cherry laurel, the little black uh, berries, which are toxic for humans, but a lot of birds like to eat them as well. But we're going to be using the leaves today. So I've got plenty here to make use of. So I'll show you what we're going to do. So what we're going to do with our cherry laurel leaves is we're going to use them to create some secret messages or some secret art. Uh, all you need is a, is, a, is a stick. You don't want too sharp a stick, so something quite blunt. And we're going to use the underside of the leaves. And what we're going to do is we're going to actually lightly score on the back of the leaf a pattern so I think I'm just going to go for something arty on this one. Don't want to press too hard. We don't want to tear through the leaf. Just gently. And you should see the leaf is crushed underneath the stick, but it doesn't tear through the leaf. So that's one arty one. I can do another one here which I'm going to write something on. It's a bit windy today so I'm holding this leaf down. Just enough space. There we go. And now what we're going to do is we're going to pop these in our pockets. We'll put them somewhere safe for the next five minutes. And then we're going to come back to them. So, five minutes later, let's have a look at our secret messages. So, the first one, our arty one, we can see that it's now very clear that we can see the pattern on the leaf. And I'm guessing it's the oxidization of the leaf on the score marks that creates this. And over time it will go darker and more easily viewed. What about this one? There we go. So these secret messages or secret artwork on these cherry laurel leaves, it's a great activity to do with all age groups. Uh, and all you really need is the cherry laurel and a stick. I've used them for a uh, session reflection, uh, which the children can write down how they feel or something they've really enjoyed on a session, and they can share it with the rest of the group, or they can decide to keep their reflection to themselves. We've also done it a lot for artwork as well. 